So hi guys and welcome to series two of Know Your Football History and in episode two we're going to be looking at the 1970s to see how the different clubs fared in that decade. <laughs> So let's start with the 1969-70 season. So the 1969-70 season saw Everton win the league, Leeds United runners-up, Chelsea actually finished third that season, Derby County finished fourth, Liverpool fifth, and where are Tottenham and Arsenal? Tottenham and Arsenal are in 11th and 12th place. But not only did Chelsea finish third that season, but they won the FA Cup. So... Chelsea did win things. Chelsea did win things in the seventies, guys, and you know that was in that match we beat Leeds United. Poor old Leeds United again, runners up in the league and the FA Cup. Had that match been played now, it would have ended up. Um, I think a referee refer did um, did a virtual refereeing of this game, and he said this game would have had to be abandoned because of all the players who would have got sent off in that game. So Chelsea matched Leeds for the dirtiness on that day. And Manchester City were victorious in the Cup Winners' Cup. So congratulations to City. So moving on now to 1970-71. And Arsenal, you finally became a big club again after the 30s, which I'm not really going to count. Yeah, so Arsenal won the league that year. Um, and uh, Leeds United, same old script, runners-up. Tottenham finished third, Wolverhampton won just fourth, Liverpool fifth, and Chelsea sixth. But Chelsea did. Oh, let's go on to the FA Cup first. And in the FA Cup, we had um, Arsenal did the double that year. So they did it, it, another North London team. Sorry, Tottenham, it wasn't you with a year ending in one. This time it was Arsenal with a year ending one, and they had a double win inside in 1970-71. But Another London team completed the clean sweep because Chelsea won the Cup Winners' Cup that year, beating the mighty Real Madrid. And rumour has it that Chelsea thought they had no chance of winning that replay. Um, so they were they went out, got drunk, and they won the replay because the first match finished, I think, 1-1. We ended up winning the second match. Um, Peter Osgood again in the hero. So moving on now to 1971-72, and it was a turn of Derby County. They had a fantastic manager. You're going to hear a bit more about later on um, by the name of Brian Clough. Brian Clough took this provincial side, Derby, and they, he, he um, got them the, the, the title. Leeds United, say, you know what I'm going to say, don't you? Runners up. <laughs> Liverpool finished third. Manchester City finished fourth. Arsenal finished fifth, Tottenham sixth and Chelsea seventh. So, so Chelsea are starting to fall behind their London rivals now in, in, with regards to league positions. And if we go on to the um, FA Cup winners of 1971-72, huh, guess what? Leeds United have finally won something. They won the FA Cup that year. So congratulations, Leeds. After years of being a runner-up, you've actually won something. So Tottenham beat Wolverhampton in an all-English um, Europa League in, in the 71-72 season as well. So um, that was good news for, for English clubs. This is when we started our dominance of Europe. So we're now to the 1972-73 season. And this is when the dominance of Liverpool started to kick in. Bill Shankly, great manager. He's um, got Liverpool. He's, he's won the league now with Liverpool. Arsenal finishing second. Leeds United have dropped down from second to third. Probably still having a nosebleed after that FA Cup win the season before. Ipswich finished fifth. Fourth, sorry. Um, Wolverhampton fifth. Um, and unfortunately, um, with Tottenham finished eighth. And Chelsea again down in 12th. So that was the, kind of the start of the demise of Chelsea. The breakup of that excellent team that they had in the mid-60s right through to the sort of early 70s. So going to see more of a demise, unfortunately, from my club Chelsea. And FA Cup winners that year were a surprising club in Sunderland. Bobby Stoko Sunderland who beat, you guessed it, Leeds United. And Liverpool beat Borussia Dortmund. Um... It, over two legs, 3-0, winning 3-0 and then losing 2-0 but winning 3-2 on aggregates. 73-74, 
Drum roll, guys. Drum roll. Because Leeds United are finally the champions of England after years of runners-up. Um, and so, yeah, Leeds United, you've done it at last. Um, they they won it ahead of Liverpool in second, Derby County in third, Ipswich Town in fourth, um, Arsenal way down in tenth, Tottenham eleventh. But you know I can't really gloat in because Chelsea they finished seventeenth, and the FA Cup um, in that that season was won by Liverpool. They beat Newcastle United by three goals to nil. 74-75, Derby, winners once again, just ahead of Liverpool and Ipswich Town, Everton finishing fourth. We are Leeds now, Leeds are no longer in the top four now, they've gone down to ninth. Um, Arsenal, Arsenal, where are Arsenal? Arsenal 16th, Tottenham 19th. But again, I can't gloat about that because my poor old Chelsea, as I said, did say that we're going to start to have a little bit of a poor run. And Chelsea, unfortunately, that season got relegated. But may I add something? Not making up excuses, but I think this is when they wanted to, they were building the West End. They got rid of a lot of their good established players have gone and some younger players were coming into the side because of the finance of build, building that East Stand. And the FA Cup in 1974-75 was won by West Ham United, who beat Fulham. And may I add, Leeds United, maybe the reason they finished ninth, they actually made the Champions League Cup final is League Cup. It was a champion. It was the European Cup final back then, but it's, we know now know it as the Champions League. They actually made the Champions League final, but unfortunately lost to Bayern Munich. Okay, seventy five, seventy six season. So Liverpool once again win the league, and there's a West London club in second. No, it's not Chelsea because unfortunately we're relegated. It's not Fulham. It's a team called QPR, ha, ha. QPR, second. Remember those, those days, I think they had like the Rodney Marshes, Stan Bowles, decent seats team back then. Um, Manchester United finished third, Derby County, you know, still not going away in fourth, Leeds United fifth. Um, and if you look at, where are Arsenal that season? Arsenal way down in 17th, Arsenal. And where are Tottenham or Spurs? Tottenham, Tottenham. Can't see Tottenham. No, Tottenham were in ninth. Okay. So, you know, those two teams, not doing great, but obviously better than Chelsea were now in the lower lower division. And um, the winners of the FA Cup for the 1975-76 uh, season were Southampton, who shocked Manchester United that day, beating them by one goal to nil. So 76-77, further dominance from Liverpool. This is when... As I said, when I was started to support, uh, as I, I was growing up as a child, and Liverpool were the dominant force when I was a kid. 77, 76, 77, they won the league again, just ahead of Manchester City. Ipswich Town was still up there in third. Aston Villa, fourth. Um, where did Arsenal finish? Arsenal finished. Man United were sixth. Arsenal were. Tottenham got relegated. <laughs> So Tottenham got relegated that year, big Tottenham, and Arsenal were. I'm trying to find eighth. Eight Arsenal were eighth, um, and not only did Liverpool win the league that year, this is when we started to dominate in Europe as well in the cha in the Champions League or the European Cup as it was called. So Liverpool won that 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 tournament, and they were one game away from winning the treble. The unprecedented treble, but that was they taken away from them, snatched away from them with Manchester United beating them 2 1 at Wembley. So, sorry, Liverpool, no treble for you that year. 77 78, Chelsea got promoted that year along with a team called Nottingham Forest. But Nottingham Forest from getting promoted that year, um, no, sorry, 77, the year before, sorry, they got promoted. And then the year after, this this year, what I'm talking about, 77, 78, Nottingham Forest actually went from being promoted the season before to winning the league the season after. 
the, that, this, this this season. And guess who the manager was? None other than Brian Clark. Liverpool finished second, Everton finished third, Manchester City finished fourth, Arsenal finished fifth, uh, Manchester United were down in tenth, and Chelsea, 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 16th after coming back up. Well, I said it was a young side, but no excuses. But, um, see, that year, Liverpool again won the Champions League, you know, keeping up the dominance of the English clubs. And the FA Cup that year was won by Ipswich Town, who shocked Arsenal. I remember watching that. I think that's probably one of the first FA Cups I watched. I don't think I watched any before that. Um, on like my old black and white TV, but I can remember that's the first one I remember watching as a boy, um, seeing Ipswich beat Ars um, Arsenal. I was happy because I loved an I loved an underdog, and from that young tender age, I still didn't like Arsenal. So moving on to seventy eight, seventy nine, you've guessed it, yeah, Liverpool again, Nottingham Forest runners up this time. And West Bromwich Albion, that's a surprising name, in third, Everton in fourth. Um, Arsenal finished seventh, Manchester United finished eighth, ninth, sorry, Tottenham came up, back up after a season, they finished 11th, and it wasn't a great season for me, you know, as a young kid supporting Chelsea, awful season, we finished rock bottom, it's terrible, 20 points we finished on that season, and it was bad, it was bad. Um, I think it was under Ken Chiletto as our manager. But unlike some today, I stuck with Chelsea. I didn't give them, I didn't give up on them. Um, my brother did. One of my brothers turned and became a Liverpool supporter because they were winning and we weren't. But no, I stayed true and loyal to my team. But um, the FA Cup winners that year were in the 78-79 season. Arsenal came back from that disappointment and they beat Manchester United 3-2. Was it Frank Stapleton? I remember scoring that day. Um, I can't remember. I'm sure it was Frank Stapleton. I think he went on to play for Man United, but I think it was at Liverpool, at Arsenal at the time. If I, you know, with, without sort of googling, but I can remember a goal by Frank Stapleton. Um, and uh, as I was talking about the domination in Europe, dominating again. Nottingham Forest this time. You know, after winning the league, they won the Champions League. So Nottingham Forest. Hmm. Ahead, Arsenal haven't won one yet, Tottenham haven't won one, but Forest have. <laughs> so, guys, there we have it. Football in the 70s, you know, wasn't a good time for my club. You know, it started off well for Chelsea, but it ended off badly. And the emergence of Nottingham Forest was a surprise for everybody. Uh, and Arsenal, you know, I'll give them their props. They started to come become a bit better and win a few things. And Leeds and Nearly Men actually won something. So, Eventful 70s, you know, as I said, but what what was so good about the 70s, especially for English clubs, is the way that we dominated Europe. You know, we won three champ, uh, Champions Leagues in the 70s. Um, we we finished runners-up at Leeds United. Chelsea won the Cup Winners' Cup. I think Manchester City won the Cup Winners' Cup. We had um, Euro, UEFA Cup wins for Liverpool as well. And so, yeah, so this is when we started to become a major force in Europe. So that was the 70s. The next episode, I'm going to be tackling the 80s. And the 80s was you know, a bittersweet for England. That's the, the, the hooliganism started to creep into the game at a high level. And we got banned from Europe. But I'll cover that all in the next episode. So stay tuned for the next episode where I'll be discussing football in the 80s. So... Take care. Don't forget to share this content. Let other people know about these podcasts so that they can improve their football history. Know more about what happened and how their clubs fared before um, these modern time, modern era. So, guys, I'll see you on the next episode. So take care, stay tuned and stay blessed.